This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to go over iOS 18.2 beta 2, which just released to developers today. And we're going to talk about performance, battery life, all the new features, the bugs, the bug fixes, and more. So stay tuned. First off here, let's just hop in and check out the build number. This is 22C5125E. So E at the end means we still got a little ways to go with regards to betas. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the new features. The first one and the most obvious one, when you head into settings now, you are going to see dark mode icons for your different app icons in here. And these are actually based not on if you have dark mode enabled. As you can see, if you turn on light mode, they're still dark. These are actually based on whatever tint you have for your icons. So if I customize this page here, go to light mode, now they're gonna be switched back to light mode. However, if I tint these, so if I go back into the edit mode, customize, and I tint them, let's tint them, uh, let's, do, let's do blue. And we go back into settings, these are tinted blue now as well. Super cool stuff. So these now follow that throughout the system. Gives it a more cohesive feeling. I'm definitely glad Apple did this. All right, next up, let's talk about Apple intelligence. Apple added a limit to free ChatGPT queries. So if you try to use ChatGPT quite often, uh, it's going to reset daily, but there is a limit uh, every day to how many ChatGPT uh, premium queries you can send. So unfortunately, we kind of knew this was coming because, I mean, ChatGPT is free uh, with iPhone. It only makes sense that some people might abuse this, so they put in a limit. So if you head into Apple Intelligence here, you can see this new extensions area with ChatGPT. If you click on that, you can see you can turn it on or off. You can sign into an account, and right here you see daily limit. Right now I'm under the limit, obviously, because I rarely use this but essentially you'll get throttled uh, with the premium queries. It'll drop you down to the basic tier for free and you get unlimited of those. Unless you get a plus account, which is like 20 bucks a month, it's crazy. Uh, then you can get unlimited. This is really stupid, but it was kind of inevitable because people will abuse this and use it too much. ChatGPT had to put something in there. One thing that's kind of strange is that Apple claims if you just use ChatGPT on your phone, it's not linked to you, it's anonymous. But if they're checking how many queries you use per day, there's some sort of identifier there. So it's still a little sketchy, but just stay tuned. I'll let you guys know if this changes, but for now there is a limit. All right, so this is a cool new feature. If you ever create a Genmoji and you kind of wonder, what did I say or what did I input into uh, you know, Apple intelligence to get that emoji, you can just tap and hold now and it will say eggplant with a top hat for that one. That's a pretty good example right there. So uh, you just tap hold and it says eggplant with top hat right there. So that's a quick, easy way to remember how you created a certain emoji, especially if someone else wants to recreate it. Or like this one right here, it says sad kiss. That's how I got that one. Kind of a weird one, but uh, yeah, that's what it generated. And just in case you guys haven't seen Genmoji yet, you just click this little button here and you describe what you wanna see. So if I just type like cow on, a hospital it should be able to generate that and it will give me a couple choices and it will keep generating choices as well so let's see how long this takes it's pretty slow right now okay so it gave me a doctor cow that's not really what i wanted uh, that gives me a cow in a hospital again not what i wanted i wanted it to use the hospital building and just put a cow on top of it but it hasn't done that yet so maybe that's all it's got not sure. You guys can think of different things. If you want me to try some, drop them down below in the comments and I'll take a look. All right, next up for Genmoji, I don't know what they've done, but they've changed the algorithm, at least for certain people. I think probably for everyone on iOS 18.2 beta 2. I made a couple of myself on beta 1 and on beta 2, I look completely different. Like they both still resemble, you know, beta 1 and beta 2 both resemble me, but I think beta 2s look worse. And I don't know why, maybe because it's more I don't know, there's something wrong with the algorithm, I think. They need to fix it. At least some of these for Elon Musk actually look semi-decent. They have tweaked the algorithm just a bit and it just doesn't look quite right with beta two. So hopefully that will be refined next time in beta three. Now this is really cool. You can now actually add contact information on your AirTags so that if someone finds it, they can just hold their phone over that AirTag and instantly get the owner or whoever's information so they can call and contact and say, hey, I found this. I don't know why this wasn't offered sooner, but now it's available. Now, I think this next one is even more powerful here. You got share item location. So now you can get a link that expires after a little bit, or you can make it expire whenever you want. Uh, and you can send that to a trusted party and they will be able to view where your location is of that item for a specified amount of time. Now in this example, they say, you know, an airline. So like if they lost your luggage, you could send them the link and they could see where it's at. I don't know how you know feasible that's going to be. In my case, when that's happened, the airlines seem to not really care uh, where things are, but 
hey, you know, if they're going to allow this, maybe airlines will start accepting people, sending them links to show where their item is actually at. Maybe it'll help the airline, you know, find that lost luggage a little faster. Pretty cool feature. Now, if we hop over to settings, we scroll down until we see camera, we click on that, click on camera control. There is a brand new section up here called light press. And this allows you to either turn on or off clean preview, as well as auto exposure and autofocus lock. So if you light press on it, you can press and hold and it will hold that autofocus and auto exposure, which is pretty cool. You can turn that on or off at will. With that said, I keep the camera control button turned off at all times, but it's there if you wanna use it. Now, if I do hop into whatever this is called, camera intelligence, uh, they've changed this up a little bit. So now you can see uh, the search button is right here. Ask button's right here. They look a little different. If you take a picture of something, the search button right here is actually not hidden anymore in this 3D menu. So you don't have to click on the three dots. It's just right there. Basically saves you a click. So that's nice. And here's something that I thought was pretty funny. If you head into the accessibility menu, you scroll down just a bit. They uh, accidentally forgot to fill this in properly. It says camera button title. Now this is supposed to be for the camera control button right here, but Apple never really wants to call it a button, but they literally do in the code. I thought that was really funny that they accidentally left that in there, calling it the camera button. And next up, you can actually now iPhone mirror to your Mac while on a hotspot. So if you don't have, you know, a home network or something and you're hotspotting all the time, you can actually use that feature uh, straight through the hotspot now, which is great. I know a lot of people, especially RVers, they're gonna love that feature. So there you go. And lastly, if we head into notes here, you can actually start a creative image drawn by AI right from here. So you just tap somewhere and then click create image. There we go. And you can describe whatever you wanna see. Let's try that one more time. I'll spell fire truck differently. You can see it's actually doing it. And there it is, a fire truck parked probably outside a store. I don't know, that kind of looks, it's a weird looking store. But there you go. You can now start these straight from anywhere in notes. You don't have to use that one tool. You can just straight up start typing. And there you go. So that has been a quick overview of iOS 18.2 beta 2. Uh, this beta also includes a feature that no one else I've seen uh, mention, and that is heat and thermal dissipation. Basically the phone should heat up less and also performance should be increased as well. Now beta one wasn't very good, kind of laggy. This one's still a little bit laggy. So if you're not on the betas right now, just hold off at least a little bit until this one's more polished. The release schedule for this one is actually going to be weekly most likely. So next week we should see beta three, next week beta four, next week beta five, and then we should see a final release the week of December 2nd. That is what we're planning on right now. Now Apple could skip a week or two in there, but December 2nd is probably the go live date for public for 18.2. Apple's really trying to get this out there as soon as possible for the masses. Now bugs, I haven't noticed any big bugs yet. Performance on this one was actually pretty good. You can see here, this is the one I took today, 3496, 8653. So that's really good, uh, at least for this one. And I did let the phone cool down a little bit, which obviously a lot of other YouTubers don't do. Uh, I rebooted it, I let it cool down, and then I ran the test to get a fair and accurate result. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming for you guys. I know you're gonna enjoy these beta videos. I got a lot more tips and tricks videos coming as well. Like I said, thumbs up, subscribe, peace.